What do you have planned for today? Um, <coughs> we are going to get some paint to paint that brush on, and we just got done putting it all back together. And then we got to get a pen so we can put the the sh the I believe you just call a shaft that hooks from the TPO to the, from the tractor to the brush hooks. What'd you make yourself for breakfast? I'm making myself an egg and beef, and I'm gonna put some salad on it. Can I see your plate? That looks beautiful. That should take care of you. I'm taking out some coffee too. No, I already had coffee. You had coffee? Well, hey there. It's dinner time. And I thought I'd bring you along tonight. Excuse my lid. I thought I'd bring you along tonight to share with you how my dinner plans often go and see how many of you out there have similar dinner plans as I do. So the first thing I do um, when I'm preparing dinner is I go to my refrigerator and I see what leftovers I have to work with that evening and then that a lot of times determines the meal for the evening. So in my refrigerator I have lots of leftovers already. Um, and it's only Tuesday, so that's a good thing. So I had a jar of green beans left over. I have several jars of this mushroom um, broth that I made. And I have a couple jars of ground beef already cooked up. So I thought, let's use it. And to that, I will add salad. And to that, I'm gonna add a big pot of my red lentil pasta. So I went in my pantry right back there and I got my red lentil pasta. And what I kind of do to gauge how much um, pasta I should make for a big group like we have is that I usually generally make about a cup of pasta per person. So when I'm scooping out the pasta, because I buy it in bulk, y'all know that. Um, and I love my red lentil pasta because why it's high in protein. It's really good for you. Those red lentils are anti-cancer um, fighting foods. They're cancer fighting foods, not anti-cancer. They are cancer fighting foods. So eat your lentils, but especially eat your red lentils. So um, I do about a cup per person and it will there, there still will be leftovers, but not a tremendous amount of leftovers. So it'll be just enough to like make, to like throw into a soup or make into a lunch or something like that. So without further ado, I got my water boiling here and I'm gonna throw my pasta in and get that going. And I'm gonna start another pot over here. I'm gonna heat up that mushroom gravy. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and put, um, I think I'm just going to put the, the string beans and the green beans and the beef right in with the mushroom gravy. Just heat it all up together and then you just ladle it over your pasta and we'll have a big beautiful salad and it will be amazing and simple. Simple, simple, simple. Takes me what? How long does it take to heat up gravy and make pasta? 10 minutes? and we will have an amazing dinner. So that's how easy it is when you're cooking from leftovers, when you're, when you're cooking in bulk and you're using up your leftovers. I love it, I love doing it that way, that I'm not crunched to always have to make a dinner every single night. Like I said, um, I make something once and then we can eat off of it for a few times throughout the week. Anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna get to it.
other thing that I like to do is I like to clean up as I go. So that way, like I said before, um, I'm only cleaning up after dinner, just the dinner dishes. I'm just throwing them in the dishwasher and then that's it. I've already cleaned up all of the main things. I like to run the dishwasher before, earlier, um, before we have dinner. So that way, it's a minimal amount of cleanup after dinner, which works out really, really well. So you might be asking like, okay, well that's great that you had leftovers, but what would you do if you did not have leftovers in the refrigerator? Well, what I, I knew I had leftovers in the refrigerator. I knew my refrigerator was full of leftovers, so I wasn't really worried about it today. But if I knew that I did not have leftovers in the refrigerator, I did not have enough to put together for a meal, then I would start cooking in the afternoon. So right around lunchtime, a little after I start, I usually put something in the Instapot. I get some rice going, beans going, quinoa, lentils, whatever. Whatever it is, I cook up that in the afternoon. If it's potatoes, if I'm baking potatoes, if I'm making mashed potatoes, anything bulk like that that I can do, I get that done. I get my frozen meat out of my back freezer and I get that cooking and let that cook in my cast iron on the stove. Um, or you can do it in the Instapot, either way. Um, and that is the advantage of having two Instapots, by the way, is that you can cook two different separate foods and super great. Um, so that's my afternoon routine, is that I plan for my dinner. As soon as we wrap up some type of lunch in the afternoon, I start planning for dinner. So this evening was really, really easy because I just had so many leftovers all ready to go. But I'm gonna finish loading up my dishwasher and get that running so we don't have to worry about that either. Okay guys, so I am making some pumpkin bread um, and it is from our home canned pumpkin butter that I made and I made a whole lot of it. So um, I'm just feeling like, you know, this heat wave has gone on long enough guys. Let's think about fall. We're gonna be, we're gonna think fall thoughts here in Texas in July. See if it helps the weather situation. So I need two three quarters cups here. And I know I can do the math and, and figure that out, but I'm not going to. That one's a, I'm just gonna do it like in three quarters. And this pumpkin butter I made with about half, I think. I'd have to go back and watch the video. Um, I have it written down somewhere. Um, I put in a lot of applesauce. I followed, generally followed the idea that um, Rachel from this 1870s homestead, how she did her uh, pumpkin butter. And I'm telling you guys, it was really amazing to be able to can up so much pumpkin butter. And now I'm gonna have it for fall for all of my fall pumpkin breads and pumpkin cookies and things like that. So it's gonna be great. So. Anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of the ingredients in here. And it's also already pre-sweetened. So it's applesauce and sugar, and you cook it all down in the crock pot, and then you can it up. So it's already pre-sweetened, which is super great too.
dinner is over and here's the truth. <laughs> I totally overestimated the amount of pasta that everyone would eat tonight. So I have plenty enough pasta to make a whole nother dinner, which is sometimes just the way that it goes around here. So this I can make up with like a marinara sauce and meatballs or just um, do some ground beef into the red sauce and this will make a wonderful dinner for another night and um, with my husband's surgery coming up um, in a couple days that's kind of awesome anyway because I don't know what the next few days are going to bring so having um, these meals kind of planned ahead is kind of super awesome anyway I still have plenty in my refrigerator of the mushroom gravy and I can do that over rice and another meal and that would be really good too um, and the other thing that I was gonna say is tomorrow night I'm already thinking ahead tomorrow night I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a Brenner which is breakfast for dinner we absolutely love doing that every once in a while and just mixing it up and so I think we're gonna be doing that we're just gonna do pancakes and eggs and um, make it a breakfast a dinner tomorrow so maybe you'll be around for that too but this evening I have to take out the scraps to the chickens tonight and I have to get out there in the garden and go water my husband and, is... we, seeds. and we need to plant seeds bean seeds. He wants to grow more green beans because yeah, you, seeds. you like green beans? Yeah. He loves green beans. And he's done a whole bunch of seeds. And they have a whole bunch of seeds. Yeah, he just figured out that he likes green beans tonight. <laughs> so anyway, yes, I do have plans to plant green beans this fall. I can't wait to do that. Um, but I need to go out in the garden. My husband's already out there in the orchards watering. I need to go out in the garden and water. And it looks like a beautiful, um, almost sunset, getting ready for sunset out there. The trees are blowing. There's a little bit of a breeze, which helps when it's 100 degrees out. So I'm going to get out there and get after it. Okay, we're all done in the garden. Actually, my garden only got like a smidge of water. Just a little bit, because the well kind of went dry. So, but the kids were doing a project that required the power washer, so I'm gonna have to go out and water in the morning. Hey, hey, tea boy. Hey y'all, I do not have any mammograms or uh, what was it? What they we're not about? expecting any babies. No, we all chillax. Sorry, sorry, yeah, we, sorry, sorry to disappoint. Uh, we would like to be expecting a baby, but it's just it's not happening. Not gonna happen. It's not guess, happening so. right now. Okay, yeah, it guys? wasn't. I didn't have. Um, it's not for lack of trying. X-rays or what they say? Uh, ultrasounds. Yeah, no, I don't. I do have a. I do have a. I escaped from the mental hospital. So I do have a, uh, a no, I already told him. Be praying for oh. my husband. <laughs> he has brain surgery coming up this week. <laughs> Frontal lobotomy. Yes. So pray for him. And and my shirt, guys, is just floofy and flouncy because it is. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. You're fat, Texas mom. There, say. <laughs> Maybe it means I'm fat. Look. Real nice. Am I that fat? Thanks, people. Am I that Apparently fat? Apparently, they that think you are, mother. My shirts are just flowy. Sorry. You're mine. Okay, so here. Husband, are you yes. going to taste this? I am, girl. I was going to put some... Uh, okay, so you're going to try it out. I'm going to try it out, y'all. This, this is a new recipe. new recipe. Is this on the native website? Not no. yet. Not yet, but it will be soon. Very good. Very good. Actually, it's, it's our own concoction, and I don't know that it's replicatable. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Replicable. Is it replicable? Replicable. I don't know that it's replicable. Hey, I want some more. You want some more? I'm so handsome. All right. I like that. Matt's gonna. Matt's gonna give it the old like try. The old hey. Texas Mark. try. I have it zoomed in on your face, so you better be honest. Zoomed in on your face. I don't. It actually, tastes really good. Oh, good. Matt, are you pregnant? Nope. <laughs> you're, not, you're not having any uh, babies soon. We've been we've been scoping in on your stomach. Yeah. No. Okay. 
No one here is pregnant. No one here is pregnant. As of this month. No one's here pregnant and, well, I don't have to explain the rest of the day. Uh, I don't get like, like better, man. Nope. Okay, we have a whiner. We have a whiner in the house. So he's starving over here. He's mama. starving for pumpkin bread. I have children serving themselves. I gotta go. Hope you enjoyed today's crazy vlog. And I hope it was relaxing and peaceful and wonderful for you. And I hope that you love your people, do all the things. Rejoice in the Lord always because he is worthy of our praise. And we will see you next time right back here on the farm. Bye, guys. See you.